Hey guys and welcome back to today's episode. My name is Mille Pettersson and today I'm out perch fishing. I'm going street fishing as you can see here. I'm, fi I'm fishing just beneath a really busy road uh, where there are lots of big perch standing here in the water as you can see. Over here. There's a deep hole right up here so I'm gonna start just by fishing the edge down to that deep hole with a, with a spinnerbait and we'll see if we get some action. We have a deep hole in the water here. It goes, it's uh, around two meters all the way around there, but down in the middle of the current here, it's, it goes down to almost five meters. So we're gonna try to fish the little edge here in the middle. I'm gonna start off with a spinner bait to see if we have some active fish here. Otherwise, I'm gonna go back to basics and go cruise along the bottom. Let's go, see if we can catch any perch, any jacks, perhaps any sanders. That's the fun thing about shore fishing with light gear, you never just know what's gonna bite. There's finally some calm weather today because it has been storming for the last couple of days. But as you can see the weather is really nice for perch fishing. Uh, there's some blue skies covered with some clouds, not too much wind today so I think really we have some good chances of striking some nice perch today. That's the main goal of today, catch some perch. but. I wouldn't mind any jacks or sanders. It's a rather small place that we're fishing here, so I'm not gonna waste too many casts with uh, with every bait. I'm just gonna go shit, 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 like a sun feather until we find any in, in, until we find any active perch. Yeah, I usually do this by myself, so I can listen to Spotify or anything. Just going around here, looking for some, looking for some fish. This is bloody life. There we go. Nothing with the spinnerbait, so now we're gonna try this one instead. It's a pretty heavy jig head with a half transparent monkey shell. See if it works. Oh! Right by the dock. Well, it's a start at least. A cock little perch once again. I'm not gonna keep you, buddy. See you in a couple of years. That was fun. Didn't take too long. So much, so much fun fishing for perch in the summer because usually, at least in the archipelago in Scandinavia where I'm fishing, it's actually pretty easy. You'll get a few fish pr pretty quickly. So I would say this is a really good, really good way of introducing your kids to fishing. Try it. Oh, fish on, and this is a bit better. Yeah, man, this is, this is so much fun. Look at that nice perch. Hey, buddy. So this is definitely summer at its best. I'm just here listening to Spotify and catching some nice perch. But now we're gonna let this baby go back into the water and we'll try to catch something much bigger than this. This seems to be the only lure I need today. A monkey shad from M War, and I read it on a football head, which means that it stands like this on the bottom. Well, this was a bit more complicated than I would have thought it would, it would be. Looks like this on the bottom, so it's not too easy getting snagged on this one. Yeah, you get the deal. Stands like this. Let's see if we can uh, get a little bit bigger one. They're only smallies so far today. Oh, there was a fish there. Wow, I'm almost shocked. And this is a bit better one as well. Haven't had a contact in so long. But finally, and the biggest one of the day. Oh, chill out, Perch. Chill out, chill out. Chill out, chill out, baby. Well, you sure did a mess to yourself. They're fighting so good now in the summertime. Look at that, guys. Such a beautiful fish. Not too big, but it's still got some nice action to it. Once again, a monkey shed, because this is the only one I've been using, because it's working so good. We're gonna say thank you to this one, and we'll see you next time. If it doesn't end up like pike food. Wow, 
What the heck? Well, it has been slow for a couple of minutes now. Half an hour or something, so now it's coffee time. Even though this isn't such a bad fishing day, it's always lighting things up. A cup of coffee, sit here, listening to some Spotify and thinking about life. Cheers. I'm gonna change from monkey shad to monkey craw. <laughs> the perch won't even know what's hit him. First cast with it. I think sometimes it's really important to, you know, if they're not really seem to be... Oh! Fish on! No. I was about to say that if they're only nibbling on one type of bait, you should... You should uh, pick another, start off with another one. So now I'm using a crow imitation here. Oh, there's someone nibbling. Still it like to do in the USA. Oh, that's... No! What's wrong with me today? Is it wrong with the hooks or what's the problem, man? So they're standing in the deep hole I just told you about. But I don't seem to be... I can't hook them, man. Is, is there anything wrong with the hook? No. Sharp as... Sharp as a hook should be. So since this is a crawfish imitation, and I know there's a lot of bass fishermen in the United States that are using it, I'm gonna hook the fish like they hook their bass. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I've only seen this on YouTube, but I'm sure it's gonna work on our perch as well. Yeah, just like that. Oh, and that's a big perch. That's a big perch. I don't want to say I told you so, but I just did. Swimming towards me. Ah, oh, not a giant, but definitely one I would take. Look at that. Oh. So this poor little perch thought this was going to be its lunch. But the hunter just became the hunted. I'm not hungry today. I don't think it's wrong to take home fish any, every now and then, but I'm just not gonna do it today. And perch fishing is just so much fun. And especially when you know, nowadays you have all these pro setups and uh, you feel the strike like even before it happens. So the best tactics work, now I'm gonna try it out again. Wait for a bite, reel down and set the hook. So that would have to be the last fish for me of the day. I have been fishing here for a few hours, caught some nice perch. Not really the big ones that I was hoping for, but you can't get them all the time, do you? But now I'm gonna go home. We'll see you next time, so make sure to subscribe and to leave a thumbs up and uh, make sure to go out now when it's summertime and catch some perch because it's so much fun. See you guys.